Cell proliferation analyses detect changes in cell growth and are often used in drug development to measure compound toxicity or anti-tumor activity. Measurements can be made by monitoring changes in metabolic activity, cellular division, or DNA synthesis. Measuring DNA synthesis is the most precise way to detect changes in cell proliferation. Image-based proliferation assays, as demonstrated in this image, where the proliferation signal is localized to the nucleus, generate spatial and temporal results that cannot be detected with other methods. This video describes and compares two of the most referenced image-based proliferation technologies. Initially, scientists used tritiated thymidine to detect changes in proliferation. As displayed, the tritiated thymidine is incorporated into newly synthesized DNA. Several drawbacks of this methodology, including the use of radioactivity, led to the development of the BRDU method. The BRDU method utilizes a modified nucleotide that is incorporated into newly synthesized DNA. For detection, an anti-BRDU antibody labeled with a fluorescent dye is used. However, the antibody is unable to bind due to the inaccessibility of the BRDU. To gain access to the BRDU label, the DNA must be denatured. After DNA denaturation, the anti-BRDU antibody can bind to the BRDU. By combining EDU, a thymidine analog with a terminal alkyne, and the Clicket reaction, the Clicket EDU proliferation assay was developed. EDU is fed to animals or directly added to growth media, taken up by cells and incorporated into newly synthesized DNA. The Clicket Plus reaction attaches a fluorescent azide dye to each EDU alkyne group in the newly synthesized DNA. The harsh DNA denaturation treatment required for the BRDU method results in the loss of GFP, or the green fluorescent signal. However, using the Clicket plus EDU proliferation assay retains GFP, or green fluorescent signal. Additionally, comparing BRDU and the Clicket plus EDU assay and using the same exposure time demonstrates how much stronger the pink proliferation signal is from the Clicket Plus EDU assay. As important as being able to multiplex the Clicket Plus EDU proliferation assay to preserve cell and tissue morphology, the left panel displays how the harsh treatment required for the BRDU assays can negatively affect the morphology of the tissue. Clearly, the cell and tissue definition have been retained for the Clicket Plus EDU treated sample. The image demonstrates the benefits of using the Clicket Plus technology, which can easily be multiplexed. In this example, melanoma A375 cells, constitutively expressing green fluorescent protein, or GFP, were treated with the Clicket Plus EDU Alexafluor 647 imaging kit. Newly synthesized DNA appears pink. The constitutive expressed GFP is displayed as green. Nuclei are blue due to Herx staining. Talon is stained with an RFP fusion protein. Because the cell morphology is maintained, four fluorescent signals from one population of cells can be detected. 